Hello everybody, it's Don the AS Lifter. Uh, sorry, kind of been a while since my last update, but I want to kind of catch everybody up and let everybody know where I'm, what, uh, what's going on, what's happening. Uh, I'm currently about five days out from my next powerlifting meet, and I'm hoping to, you know, kind of beat my records from last time. Uh, this meet is in at the Arlington Convention Center. It's the ISA Federation. It's their World Championship meet, which is uh, for raw and raw plus lifting which is raw with wraps you know to protect your knee joints keep them from buckling and your wrist wraps to keep your uh wrist from folding over with the weight but i i feel good i probably feel better than i have in my last meet and it's been a while since i've done one so i had a little bit of rest period and uh i'm hoping that in this meet i could actually break uh my personal records of what i've done before and maybe even you know go for one of the coveted world records you know i keep trying to chase uh so it's a big big thing for me it's a you know I'm hoping I do good. I'm hoping it works. But uh, I kind of give everybody an update of what I've learned and some of the things I've, I've seen and, and, and uh, I guess, encountered since my last video. But I started a, uh, a uh, with, with a co-host, a good friend of mine, uh, Dar Darian Favre, or excuse me, Darain Favre. Uh, we started a, uh, a, a radio show, and it's called Overcoming Adversity. And the radio show is meant to, you know, kind of help, you know, people tell their stories in the hopes that maybe it will reach that one person or that two people and, and encourage them to overcome whatever adversities in their life and kind of pay it forward and keep moving. And that was the whole theory of the show. Uh, we're five weeks into the show. We've recorded for the last every Sunday at three to four o'clock on Joko Johnson County Community Radio. We host the show, um, and it's been kind of an eye-opening, humbling experience. I like to share some of those experiences with everybody. The uh, pilot show we did was a, a friend of mine. We did brought a friend of mine, and it was four of, or three of us that did the show. Is uh, Drain, which is which is my co-host, uh, and then another guy we brought in, which was called his name's John Hill. John uh, is a is kind of unique story because he has a pacemaker and his uh, and a defibrillator in his chest. And he had a congestive heart failure, and uh, he almost died uh, in the in the process of saving his life. And doctor kind of told him that he would, if he could walk on a treadmill, he'd be lucky. Well, John kind of said, you know what? That's not good enough. I don't want to just walk on a treadmill. I don't want to just experience that. I want to, you know, accomplish my goals. So John went on to uh, enter to the world of bodybuilding. That's how I met John was through the gym, and John. Uh, worked on his goals and went forward and he overcame uh, congestive heart failure and did his first bodybuilding show uh, this year uh, where he actually placed first first show he ever did was last year this year he did a show in the beginning of this year and placed uh, first in his class which I thought was pretty impressive from a guy that doctor said you know could barely walk on a treadmill and here he is working out with us um, that was our first guest and it was kind of a unique uh, you know humbling experience hearing his you know over his chance of overcoming well, our second uh, formal guest that we brought on was another AS warrior named Victor. It's, uh, he's in my support group here in Dallas, Fort Worth. And uh, he has probably the most humbling of the stories of, the, of so of the, by that time. And Victor has ankylosing spondylitis like myself. You know, I, for people that don't know, I was uh, diagnosed with ankylosing spondylitis in 2014 formally. And then I've been battling um, or trying to overcome the effects of the disease on me physically and mentally ever since and that's kind of where my journey has been in powerlifting is to kind of prove that we're not helpless or we're not uh i guess defined by our disease so victor come and he had a wonderful story about how you know as actually saved his life you know keep in mind a lot of us think of this as a curse and yet the curse saved his life uh, Victor, uh, was, we had a bad ice storm, uh, and Victor slipped and fell and broke his third vertebrae in his neck. And if anybody knows anything about your third vertebrae, it controls all your motor functions of your body, your heart, liver, lungs, uh, basically everything within your body. Uh, when they, when they used to hang people, they would try to break that third vertebrae to kill them. So it's most people that have a, a broken third vertebrae, it's a, almost a death sentence. You know, they usually don't live from it. Well, not only did he live from it, the disease actually repaired the fracture of the break in his vertebrae. You know, with ankylosis spondylitis, you know how our bones back, grow back together. Well, in his case, the bones fused back over that vertebrae, and it actually kept him alive. You know, that's a, that's a, you know that's inspirational. I don't care what religion you believe in. But that's 
to me, it's God's way of setting purpose in your life so you can go out and share your story with other people and encourage, you know, how this disease is not as disabilitating a, uh, as we may think it is at times. So uh, I thought that was pretty unique and um, pretty uh, special. We had a couple shows where we talked a little bit about diet and fitness. Uh, we brought uh, another guy that was a friend of mine who does a nutrition, uh, owns a nutrition store. He's actually got a video talking about supplements, joint support supplements that help, you know, me and some other people with arthritis and things that work with him. He also uh, uh, sells CBD oil, which is, a, you know, a pain alternative. And I've kind of experimented a little bit with that. And I thought, you know, it, it, any chance I have or any ability we have to bypass our opioids, you know, hey, that's, you know, I'm all for that. Uh, it's, a, it's a safer, cleaner way you know, pain management, in my opinion. Um, then the last week, or this week, this weekend, we had a guest, and, uh, and I've known this guy for for a while in the gym, and I, it, kind of crazy because I know the background story of what happened or why, you know, he, he the accident happened he was, act, he was in. But as a guy named Troy Vest. And Troy, uh, if you didn't watch the show, he was, uh, he was diagnosed with... Uh, not diagnosed, I'm sorry. He was, I uh, got a call coming in. He was, uh, he was, I guess, burned in a, in a horrible industrial accident. You know, here's this guy who was in this horrific accident. He's burned about 80% of his body. He has the ear burned off. He's got, you know, he's burned. But it, and what's crazy is I know the man and I don't see, you know, the burns anymore. You know, I never really have. You know, I know Troy. Troy's got a good heart. And he's a great guy. You know, he's uh, done a lot of advocate, advocacy for burn victims, or not supposed to be burn survivors, as he says it. You know, nobody's a victim, you're a survivor. Um, so Troy, you know, has this unique story where he talked about how he overcame, and at that point where you're burned and you tell you you can't even, you, you're not going to be able to move or walk out or work out again, and yet I see this man in the gym and he's doing powerlifting. You know, he's just like me. He, he's overcame every adversity that's ever thrown at him. Uh, to a total different level than I could ever imagine in as far as pain wise uh, he uh so he's gone on and he's uh, become successful in, in his fitness career well Troy you know has a very humble and uh, outlook on life because here's a guy who was involved in a horrible accident you know involved why he was at work you know and you would think he would be you know angry or bitter or whatever well he doesn't. He believes, you know, that life is too short for that. So I thought, you know, that, you know, that's kind of makes me start thinking, you know, that other people out there that are, in, you know, fighting this disease. I know we have bad days and every, you know, we all fight those things. But, you know, here's a man who's burned 80% of his body. He He's seen most horrific pain possible. And yet here he is today and he's happy, go lucky, there for his family, mobile, moving around and fighting. You know, and what can we take from that? You know, we can take the fact that we can't be weak, you know, mentally, or we can't be weak-minded, uh, or spiritually, or heart in our heart. You know, we yeah, we're fighting a disease, and we all go through battles, and we have bad days and good days. But in the end, we fight, and we persevere, and we come through the other side. You know, we come through, we push through, and next you know, bam, here we are, the champion on the other side. And I, you know, I, if you've watched my videos, I advocate for anything. You know, as far as com combating the disease, me, I choose fitness and uh, I've been successful at my battle and, I, you know, I can only be helpful, uh, hopeful that other people may find that same success. But at the end of the day, I don't care if you get up, walk, you go fishing, you garden, you uh, do pottery, you know, you go shop. I don't care housework. It can be simple as that. You know, at the end of the day, get up and fight. Don't let the disease control you. Fight on, push on and control your own destiny. You know, um you know, it's overcoming that, uh, overcoming that adversity in your life. So uh, again, this is Don Markham, the AS lifter. Uh, I, I hope everybody, you know, I hope I can be able to post some videos, some great videos, uh, by this weekend of, you know, some of my, uh, meat results. Uh, again, follow me on Instagram. I'm tech under Texas Markham. I have a Facebook page called Don Markham, a fitness journey with ankylosing spondylitis. Uh, Click that subscribe button, you know, kind of show me, uh, show everybody and share the videos, especially if you think somebody may need the, the message or hear it. And, uh, man, everybody out there, all you warriors, keep fighting on. Guys, y'all are making me so happy. I see all these great posts of all these people fighting and pushing and conquering their life. And, man, I couldn't be more thrilled to death to see y'all succeed in that. Again, Don Markham, the AS Lifter, signing out. Thank you.